What is happening? Welcome back to World of Enchantment. I'm Sarah Carly and I'm super pumped for this video because we have a new subscription box. We're opening the wizarding trunk today, which technically we have opened on the channel before when they did their uh, keep collecting box, which was just like a one time only box that was a collaboration with a YouTuber, the Potter Collector. But yeah, I decided to get this one as well, which is their quarterly subscription box, which is $64.99. And then with like shipping and taxes for me personally comes to about $77. But I decided to do it because this box in particular sounded really good and I was persuaded to get it and it is that it's going to be themed house pride so I love that I'm a Hufflepuff as you can see from my little outfit here and yeah I just thought it would be a really good opportunity to get some you know kind of unique Hufflepuff merch um these boxes like the wizarding trunk normally has like amazing boxes and I would have got their subscription box earlier it's just like I just kind of don't have the budget to just keep adding all those subscription boxes out there but they're one of like the better ones I've always thought that they were one of the better ones and yeah I haven't made up my mind if I'm going to continue with the quarterly subscription or not just because I want I've been wanting to do other things on the channel other than just you know unboxings but it did already renew for the next one which is the next one is going to be themed around the Weasley family so I'm not really mad about that because uh, <laughs> that sounds like it's going to be a really good one and that one's coming in August so yeah let's let's uh, crack this thing open I I'm just I'm really excited for this one. I, I just, I love boxes like this. Accio did one uh, similar. They had a House Pride box last year and I really liked it because it's just really cool like when you get things tailored to your house. I don't know, I kind of I kind of like that. But anyways guys, let's get this thing open. Ooh, okay. So I'm afraid to look at this because is it, okay, I don't, that might be a cheat sheet, so we're just not going to look at it. I can't tell. Um, ooh, oh my gosh. Oh, wait, I see. I think this might be a scarf. What is this? No, it's a beanie. Okay, cool. And it kind of has, like, the gray look to it, um, which looks very Newt Scamander-like. And if y'all have been here for a minute, you know I love the Fantastic Beast movies and Newt Scamander. And then also, if you're new here, subscribe. Wow, okay, cool. I've gotten, I feel like, how many beanies have I gotten through subscription boxes now? Um, it's definitely not the season, or, because right now it is me, May, not me, it is May, and so it's definitely not the season for this, but when it is, I feel like this will look pretty cute. Let's just pop it on. It's like one of the floppy ones. All right, cool, cool, cool. Get some of the hair out. There we go. I'm about it. I'm about it. Yeah, I like how it kind of looks like like uh, vintage. I'm a I'm a fan of that. Now let's go back in. Should I just get? Let's just do it. Sever on top. Oh, this is a notepad, and it has a little like Hufflepuff uh, crest symbol in the middle of it. And so, for use my hand for reference here. I have small hands, by the way, so hopefully that helps. Um, but yeah, this is cool. I love. Um, I really like notepads, notebooks. I love stuff like that because, I don't know, I use stuff like this like every day, so. I like how it's like looks kind of like worn and yeah, I like it. I think it looks cool. Okay, next thing. What is this? Is this a sticker? Ooh. Oh, I like the detail on the badger. Like you can uh, see all like the hair strokes, so that's a cool little sticker here. Good size too. This box is calling to me, but maybe we should save it. Ooh, is this is a number. It says 05. This is cool. It is very like sporty and you could, you know, um I, this is probably what. I would have is it an iron on or you might have to sew it on or maybe just use fabric fa oh, I can't talk. Fabric glue. But yeah, this would be really cool. You could put it on whatever jacket or pants or, you know, probably jacket. Or you could put it on a bag actually. Um, you know, like a book bag or something. This is pretty cool. I like this. Okay, so what is this? Some sort of material, maybe it's a flag. Yeah, I'm thinking this is supposed to be the Fat Friar, the, you know, the Hogwarts ghost uh, for Hufflepuff. 
Um, I'm not sure who the woman is, but she has, a, but she's with a unicorn, but I really like the aesthetic of it. And with all like the plants and stuff, it looks very Hufflepuff like. It kind of looks like a portrait you would see in the Hufflepuff common room, I would imagine. But yeah, I think it's just something uh, like a decoration piece that you could just like tack up on a wall, I think. Um, I guess we'll find out or maybe you'll already know because maybe I'll have a picture up on the screen or something that shows what it is, but yeah, cool. All right, next thing. This is, I think, maybe something very similar. Ooh, this is a, di no, oh, is this a pillow? Oh, I think this is a pillowcase. Um, okay, cool. So, there's a little badger. This is a pretty design. The yellow is pretty bright, though, just to let y'all know. Okay, here's the zipper. I was wondering where this was. Okay, cool. So, yeah, here's the zipper, and, yeah, you just, you know, you have to put your own pillow in it, but I think this looks pretty cool. Um, It might be kind of hard to get the yellow and black to work in your house based on whatever, you know, your color scheme is. <laughs> um, Just because, the, especially because the yellow is just, like, so bright. But, so, cool, cool, cool. Next thing, this one's in, oh, bubble wrap. Oh, it says common room. Okay, cool. So this is what they would imagine the Hufflepuff common room to smell like. Also, the, the photo they used looks like what, you know, the Hufflepuff common room would look like. So it's brown sugar, butter rum, warm cinnamon, and loyalty? Maybe it's like common room loyalty edition. That's probably what it is. Okay. Guys, it smells so good. Oh my gosh. I wonder how it's gonna smell like when when you burn can when you like you burn it because you know sometimes when you burn candles, um the scent doesn't travel like super well or it doesn't smell the same. But if this smell travels well, oh my gosh. I'm probably gonna be wishing I had another just because it smells so good. Like here, like it kind of it kind of smells a little bit like butterbeer. It's probably the brown sugar. Well, I don't know what butter rum smells like. I don't know. But when I hear that, I think butter beer. But, um, and warm cinnamon. Oh, I don't, I don't know how fully to describe it, but it smells really good. Maybe I can let y'all know how well it smells once it's been lit. Guys, I can't stop smelling it. It smells so good. Okay. All right. I think so far that might be my favorite item, but, like, I don't know. I, I do... I don't know, this is actually really pretty, that, like, tapestry, and the beanie's cool, but, I don't know, I'm pretty excited about this. I've been really liking candles lately. Okay, it looks like we have a Hufflepuff tie, which I do already have one, um, but, yeah, here, we got another one. I've gotten one on, like, Amazon before, but, and actually, maybe we should do a giveaway, because, like I said, I already have one, so if you want a chance to win this tie right here, then check in the description for all the rules and how to enter. Okay, so next thing is in, ooh, it's already come out. I wonder if this is going to be a book sleeve. Is this a book sleeve? Oh. No, this is too small for that. Okay, I think it's just, um, a print of, oh, yeah, it looks like what the, um, Hufflepuff common room would look like. It looks, it's, it's the same photo from the candle, it's just, it's bigger, instead of just being, like, this little bit here, you know, you can see a little bit more of it. Oh, oh, and it has the, the tapestry that they gave us is actually in the background here. Wait, that's really cool. Wait, is it the same photo from the candle? Yeah, it is. Okay, that's what I thought. Um, so yeah, it has, like, a bunch of light shining through. I, I do wish that maybe it was, like, a little less overexposed with yellow, like, from the light, like, to get the light effect a little bit less, but, I don't know. Oh my gosh, this is kind of hard to see, but, um, I also have, like, really bright lights, you know, so I think it's just looking really washed out because of the lights a little bit. But yeah, that's a cool idea. I like that. I'll probably, maybe eventually I will get it framed um, to hang up. But in the meantime, I'm glad I can store it in this little thing. Alright, should we, I think we should save this box for last. 
still. Ooh, okay, we got a keychain. Oh, it looks like a key with a Hufflepuff on it. Or Hufflepuff with a badger on it. Oh, and it has the Hufflepuff cup. Oh my gosh, it looks very pretty. Not entirely sure what this key would go to. Maybe it would go to, like, your room. Because, you know, like, once you get past um, the door that, you know, or, you know, the entrance to the Hufflepuff common room, then you go up to your room and maybe you use a traditional key. I don't know. But yeah, I think this would look pretty cool on, like, a key, key ring. Kind of different. Not too out there, but if you look at it, and you know, you got your badger and your Hufflepuff cup, so cool. All right, so let's go back in here. Oh, it looks like we have a prefect badge, which I actually don't have one. I'm sure if you like already do have one, then it's not as cool, but I don't, so I'm kind of you know happy to finally have one. Um, part of the reason I don't, I never like bought. A prefect badge or a head uh, girl badge or anything like that is partly because I have subscription boxes and I was like eventually I'm probably gonna end up with one you know but yeah it's cool and I it's a very like it's a very thin pin I don't know I kind of like that I like the sound it makes too and it has a double back so cool big fan of that now let's go back in I think yep I thought so uh, we have another pin Oh my gosh, guys, I'm so excited for this. So, just like in the uh, Keep Collecting box, when we got a pin that was Dumbledore, which was actually the Potter Collector doing his cosplay as Dumbledore, we now have a Helga Hufflepuff. Um, you know, it's their rendition, or like what they believe Helga Hufflepuff would look like, with a nice framing around it um, that looks like what, you know, her portrait would be. Um, if it was, you know, hanging up in the school, and I love this. I think the photo looks super good of her. The framing is really nice, and yeah, I like it. It's a double back as well, and honestly, um, I, I, I wonder, they'll, they'll probably have it where you could actually buy the other three founders on their website, which would probably cost a pretty penny, but it's a cool... Um, it's cool to know that, like, there is that option, so you could have, like, an entire set of these, because I think, you know, if you're really into pins, that's a cool set to have, honestly. So, yeah, I think this is pretty cool. And it looks like the next thing we have is a ring here, which is pretty cool, but the first thing that's gone through my head is this is definitely not going to fit, and, yeah, no, it's not going to fit. I already know, because, um... If if they're if they're making a ring that is one size fits all, it's it's just not gonna happen. I have tiny tiny fingers, so no. But I like the the logo they picked on the front. I think that's really cool. Yeah, I, I really like it because it makes like the the badger look kind of like um like intimidating, which I think is cool because a a you know a ring being this size kind of looks like something you would get like if you won um the quidditch cup or something i'm not a huge fan of the side designs um because i feel like it's just a little bit much to have the h and the crest and a little star i think it, it would have looked better to maybe just give it like a nice little like carving to make it look uh -oh. prestigious i guess i don't know can't quite think of a good word to describe it, but like, I don't know, I would have had the design be a little bit different, but I do really like the the front logo they picked, and I think it could be a really cool display item, so. Oh, and I just noticed on the inside it says loyalty. Nice. I actually, um, fun fact, I am an Atlanta Braves fan, and th this week I went to a game and they were giving out replica World Series rings because they won uh, last year, and uh, the ring is super nice. Like, I'm obsessed with it like it's so so nice it has like all these diamonds and everything um but yeah it's like way too big and it has to I'm, I'm planning on getting like a chain to like maybe like hang it on um for when I go to games but it did actually come with a display which is like super nice and you just like pop the ring in so yeah I've been, got two got two rings this this uh this week which is kind of funny <laughs> um but yeah cool cool okay so we are going to save the box for last, uh, but it looks like before we get to that, we have um, some prints here, so let's just get them out and check them out. So the first one is, oh, this looks so cool. Okay, so it says Mandrake Seedlings for Sale. 
non-lethal until adulthood, earmuffs not included in sale, meat at greenhouse three, bring your own pot and topsoil. This is cool. Oh my gosh. And they, look, they even made the back look like worn and stuff. Like they designed the back of this. Like that's, I feel like very unnecessary, but super cool at the same time. But yeah, I'm definitely going to get this framed at some point because that is awesome. Okay. So next one is Salem Sisters live in the Great Hall, October 31st. And again, they designed the back. That is cool. Very rock and roll. Great de decoration item. And the last one is... Ooh, a lot of cursive. Okay, it says, Hello, students. Someone has been breeding mandrake plants in the common room. All magical plant growing is supposed to take place in the greenhouse and be monitored by students of an adequate grade level. Please safely rehome these seedlings as soon as possible. This incident does not need to be reported to the headmaster as long as it's corrected in a timely manner. Sincerely, your prefect. That's cool. And yeah, they um, again designed the back and they put a lot of like ink splotches. I guess whoever wrote this, your prefect is very stressed out and yeah, getting ink everywhere. But, but cool. All right, so now we just have the box left, which I am very excited for. And I'm going to put these here so I can try not to bend them, but now it's officially time for the box. Ooh, and it looks like this box is going to tip over without it in there. So I'll put the candle over there, and now where, where's the opening? Okay. Ooh. Looks like a jar. See what for. Ooh. Tangled golden glow seeds. A species of devil snare impervious to light. From pure blood apothecary. Whoa. So it's like seeds to grow devil snare. I love I really like the color choices of the the little I don't know. We're just gonna call them Orbeez. The little Orby or we balls. Um, though, if you don't live in the U.S., then you might not know what those are. It's just like these little like balls that you put in water and they grow a little bit and they're like squishy. They were marketed a lot like years ago to like kids. So that's, <laughs> though I don't, did I ever, I don't think I ever played with them. I just like saw commercials for them all the time. So yeah, by the way, just figured I should mention that because I know some people are like in other countries and like you might not have grown up seeing those commercials. <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, oh, it also has a spoon. So you could scoop them out and grow devil snare. I mean, don't know why you would. Um, you, you would need to. But if you ever have a need, you never need to hide something in, in a school. And you need to grow some. Hit me up. I got you covered. <laughs> but yeah, okay, so that's everything. Okay, so I've taken a second to kind of, like, stare at everything to try and, like, figure out what the, like, favorite item is going to be, and there's a lot of stuff I really like. Like, the tapestry is super pretty. Um, I'm not sure who the woman is. Oh, wait, does it say it on here? Yo, I just realized something while looking at this is that every house got a different potion. Yo, I literally cannot wait to watch other people's unboxings from other houses. Because, like, everyone got, like, different stuff, and I just, I want to see what they got and, like, you know, what it looks like with their houses. Okay, but wait, where is the tapestry? Am I looking right at it? No way. The class ring is also a wax stamp. Wait, that makes me like it a lot more now. So, yeah, it says, your class ring has arrived, create created for display, but can be used as a wax stamp designed by Wizardry, Wizardry Workshop DWT exclusive. Wait, that makes me like it even more. Because like I said, I was like, it looked like a nice, you know, display item, but it being able to be a wax stamp, boy, that's really cool. I'm glad I read that. Oh my gosh, here it is. It's literally in the middle. Okay, it says, these tapestries can be found in each of the common rooms designed. Okay, so 
Yeah, okay, so I don't I don't know who the woman is in the, the, the picture still, but yeah, I, I think it looks super pretty. So I so I like that, but that's that's not my favorite, not my favorite. Um I'm obsessed with the smell of this candle. So that's definitely one of my top favorites. At least now. I mean, maybe when I light it, it's not going to be as good, but I, just to be able to open that and smell it, I'm happy. Um, <laughs> the beanie, I really like how it looks vintage, kind of like nudes. I also, I didn't mention, but I love the fact that it doesn't have a logo. Love that. Because so many, so many times it's like, I would love like the merchandise, but it's just this like logos, logos, and it's like... I want it to look realistic of like what they'd wear, not just have logos all over it. So I really like this. Um, and then this, this is cool. And I can't wait to see what the other, so I'm guessing the other house ones are going to be somewhat similar, maybe different colors and just like different logos, but like maybe it's like different things entirely. I don't know yet, <laughs> but yeah. So I think my favorite item though it's going to be the portrait pen. I really like it. It's just so pretty. Oh, and I did think about, like, what if, what if they had done it with, like, the same, like, glossy, like, protective, like, coating it has now, but, like, with the kind of, like, picture that, like, moves? I think that could have been cool, because it is supposed to be Hog Hogwarts portrait, and, you know, they do, like, move and talk and stuff, so I don't know, but this still is really cool, so big fan of this but yeah you guys are gonna have to let me know down below in the comments what item is your favorite also I just want to throw in there that the colors like okay the colors might not match with the tie and this patch but I am going to include this patch in the giveaway so just just want to let y'all know so just check the description down below to figure out how to enter to win the tie and the patch also, guys, it is way too hot to be wearing this sweater. Oh my gosh, I'm like dying. All these like lights filming. It's May. It's just, it's not the time to be wearing a striped sweater. I know SpongeBob saying that like it's always the right time. What did he sing? What, what's SpongeBob's song? I, I don't know. I can't remember entirely, but it's something along the lines of it's always like it's always a good time to wear a striped sweater I don't know I can't really remember I'm it's really hot it's also really late when I'm filming this um but yeah like I was saying you guys are gonna have to let me know down below uh what your favorite item is and what you thought of the box I honestly really liked it and make sure to subscribe so you can stick around to see the next one which is going to be coming in August and themed around the Weasley family which I can't wait for because anything Weasley themed I am about I love Ginny she's like my favorite character so yeah I'm about it. I uh, do want to let you know, fair warning, I do other things on the channel as well, like Disney videos, but I typically do Harry Potter, so if you don't like those kind of videos, you don't have to watch those. Just stick around for the Harry Potter content, <laughs> and um, yeah, I guess I will see you later, alligators. Bye, y'all!